What is a tensor? The answer to this question is not so straightforward. There are even different ways to define a tensor. For our goal though, for now, a relatively easy and kind of operational definition is sufficient. So we will see this operational definition in this lecture. So tensor T for now is a linear mapping from a domain D to a codomain C. So what does this mean? The T of alpha A plus B equals alpha times the T of A plus the T of B for all A and B in the domain D and for all scalars alpha. In such a case, T is called a tensor or a second order tensor. Now, immediately a couple of remarks. For our goal, we'll always pick domain and codomain equal to R3. That's the domain and codomain we will need for the ensuing web lectures. So you can generalize this a lot, of course. Second remark, we will also define a second order tensor or tensor in general a bit more precise. That will follow later. For now, this definition is sufficient. Remark three, this tensor can uh, be more generalized much more, very much more than we will do. And fourth remark, uh, we are talking now about second order tensors that already gives the impression that there will also be first and third order tensors. And indeed, as we will see later, a scalar will be a zero order tensor, and a vector will be a first order tensor, and we will also encounter third order tensors, and so on. That's for later. For now, we will stick to our operational and relatively easy definition. T is just a linear mapping from R3 to R3. Let's do a few examples. Uh, suppose we have a T from D to C, and we say, okay, let's take a really easy example, map everything T of every A just to N, to a fixed factor, which is not zero. Is this a tensor? Well, let's see whether it uh, satisfies the definition. Well, T of A equals N and T of B equals N. As always, you map everything to the same N. So the T of A plus B will also be N, because A plus B will also be mapped to N. Now what happens, the T of A plus the T of B equals N plus N equals 2N. And that's not equal to N, the T of A plus B. So this T is not a tensor, because it's not a linear mapping. Second example, suppose we have some tensor T which maps all vectors to a multiple of the vector. So T of A equals K times A, where K is some scalar. Is this a tensor? Now we know T of A equals K times A, and T of B maps B to K times B, this multiple of B, so T of B equals K times B. And T of something bigger, alpha A plus B, is mapped to k times this alpha a plus b, as we see over here. And then we know that t of the alpha a plus b, uh, we can rewrite this of course, uh, over here, to alpha times k of a plus k times b. And then we see this is exactly equal to alpha times t of a plus t of b. So t of alpha a plus b equals alpha times t a plus t b for all scalars alpha and all a, a and b in the domain. So satisfying the definition over there, so this T is in fact a tensor.